What's going on guys, it's Lamar and this is Political Media. This is that interesting time of the year where YouTubers are sharing what they earned in 2020 or in the previous year. So I feel like I, I jump on the train, I think I'll do it. And I wanna be way more candid and just kinda of be super transparent and just for those that are thinking about getting into YouTube, starting a YouTube channel, possibly having it as a full-time career, full-time job, I want you to just kind of know what the possibilities are. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so I got monetized at the end of October of last year, back in, uh, so I think it was October 22nd. And so the money that I'll show you that I earned was mostly in November and in December. I only earned $10. $10 in October, from the 22nd to the end of October. $10. Kind of sucks, right? That doesn't give you much hope, but that's all right. November was a lot better. In November, I earned about $3,068, something like that, give or take. And in December, I did a little bit better than that and earned about $3,400. So in just two months, over $6,000 was earned on my YouTube channel in 2020. All right, that's the end of the video. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, I'll give you a little bit more. Okay, right. so what kind of videos were I posting? Okay, so basically my channel is a media channel, political media, which we talk about. Honestly, I talk about everything. I don't, I'm not a big proponent of niching down all the way to the point of only being able to talk about certain things and limiting myself. No, nope, I need to be free. And so I talk about anything that's in the world, anything that's in politics, anything that's in media, anything that's going on in the church world, which was very great to me amazing to me last year. Um, as you can see here, my top videos were um, church drama videos. Um, the first one being uh, Jamal Bryant and Paula White. They were very good to me. The first one earned me $2,800. One video earned me $2,800 in two months. Yep, one video. Number two video, which also included Paula White. She got into she was into it with a lot of people last year. Um, it was her and Deidre Haddon, who's a gospel artist. On that video, earned thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen hundred dollars on one video. And then the, the number three, as you can see, um, actually number three, four, and five all earned between two and four hundred bucks. So. And again, all those videos included Paul White, <laughs> which is funny, but you know, it is what it is. She paid dividends and hopefully she can pay me, pay more dividends in 2021, but we'll see. She's been quiet lately. I need you to talk, Paula. All right, so, so the 6,500 or so that I made in 2020, um, that was off of 2 million views, give or take, um, uh, 6,200 subscribers. And yeah, so the thing is, most people think you need a ton of subscribers to make money. If I were able to um, do six grand, what, what 3,000 a month, 3,400 a month on average per month for a year, that's, that's not a bad first year of being monetized. What's that, 36,000, give or take? Yeah, I can't live off of that, but it's a nice addition to my main income on my regular job. <laughs> um, but if I were to do this, I guess full time, perhaps I could double that. Hmm. Um, but I said all that to say, you don't need a whole lot of subscribers to make money on YouTube. It's more about um, how long people are watching, their interaction with your video. There's a lot of other factors that go into play that you can learn if you just look down in the, deep, in the description and see some other videos that uh, could, where I'm teaching uh, different ways to make money or how to make money on YouTube. All right, and that's it. I've done my I've done my duty. I've done what all the other YouTubes are doing. I've told you how much I made last year um, in just two months of being monetized, the low six thousand dollars. All right, thank you guys. Subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. What have you? Check me out on Instagram at Lamar the Writer. And that is it. Peace out.